Hey guys, welcome back. I'm so glad you're here today. So what we're going to do today is a 40 minute body power sculpt. So we are going to strengthen our body while using only our body to strengthen. So you need no equipment outside of a sweat towel, a drink, and of course a great attitude. So let's get rocking. Okay, so hopefully you got your sweat towel and your drink and you're ready to rock and roll. If so, let's just step out and we're just gonna be kind of a wide arm. Just gonna keep our elbows bent just a little bit. Get those shoulders warmed up just a little bit differently. Step it out wide, give me a little bit of a squat. We kind of warm up that body. A couple more. Last one on each side. Perfect, and then let's do some butt kicks. Squeeze those shoulder blades back. <laughs> Woo, getting our whole body warmed up today. Oh yeah, keep them, a couple more. Last ones, and then we're gonna reach to the side. Woo, stretching the side. Feels good, and then we're gonna stretch across. Get that trunk warmed up a little bit. Nice work. And then the squat down and a big circle. Down and a big circle. Two more. Last one. And then we're just gonna do a couple lunges right here. Just oh down and up. Two more. Last one. And then we're gonna touch down and we're gonna get a little bit more deeper in that lunge. A little bit more into that hip flexor and that hamstring. Two more. Last one. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna rotate right to the other side. Here we go, down and up. Two, last one. And then we're gonna touch down, we're deep, and then straighten that knee. Nice work. Last one. And we're gonna come right here and we're just gonna glide those inner thighs. Get them moving a little bit. Last one. Come on up here. Let's do some big arm circle right here. And in the other direction. And the other side. And in the other direction. And then we're gonna take those arms and we're gonna rotate that trunk. Twisting around. Many of you know this is one of my favorites. I always feel so good. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna go and we're gonna windmill it down. We're gonna touch those toes. We're gonna kind of hinge just right up there at the hip so we get those hamstrings a little bit more moving. Two more. One more on each side. We're gonna come out in the back. We're gonna walk that down into plank. We're gonna get right here and we're gonna keep our elbows straight. We're gonna just sink in with those shoulder blades. Get that back activated. And then we're gonna move into pike and plank. Pike and plank. Just get a little bit of that hip, get a little bit more of those hamstrings and the calf. And then we're coming back and we're doing five more of these. Sinking in and coming back. And then into that pike. Three more. Last one. And then we're down into the quadruped. We're gonna lift that leg up. Get a little bit of a glute activated. Some of these are working range of motion and some of these are working activation. So that they know that this is right. I gotta get moving and shaking so I can stabilize correctly. Out to that side. Okay, and now we're going to the other side, up. And you're lifting, that leg extension, knee bent. This isn't to fatigue it, and then we're gonna go out to the side. It's just to activate it and wake, wake it up. Last one, coming to downward dog, walk that up. And then right here, we're gonna hinge, right down and back up. One more. Okay, we're gonna open and close that chest. Swing it open, swing it close. Oh yeah. 
two more. And then lastly, we're gonna do is we're gonna throw those arms right overhead, getting a little bit of that upper body, upper trunk extension, as well as getting those arms and those shoulders moving. Two more, last one. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to lunge forward. Now we're gonna still keep our weight right over our heel, but we're gonna push our body right into that weight so we get a little bit more strength right into that front leg. So we're just gonna pulse right here. So it's gonna be still that weight over that heel. The other activity is we're gonna do a push up with a leg extension. So let's start with the lunge, right foot forward. You ready? Three, two, one. Down, and we're leaning. So again, my weight is still right over that heel, but I'm leaning into it and pressing into that knee with my chest. So a lot of times we're upright, we're coming straight down. We're gonna add just a little bit of different resistance by pulsing right into that chest. So I'm putting my chest right into my knee. Okay. We are working for 40 seconds today, but we only have 10 seconds of rest because we don't have any equipment to change, just our body. So I'm gonna keep our moving so we can keep that heart rate up just a little bit higher. Okay, we got five more seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Right down here, so we're gonna do a push up into a leg extension, or you can do a knee push up into a leg extension. Here we go. Three, two, one. So push up and a leg extension. I'm gonna stay with that right foot this whole time, just like I did with that lunge. Leg extension with the right, and then the push up. Woo! A nice solid push up. So when you're doing a push up, another, it doesn't matter if you're using the wall, your knees, or your toes, your chest, and your trunk, and your thighs all come down at the same time. None of them get to win the race first. They have to come all at the same time. Eight more seconds. Three. Two, one. Okay, so same thing. This time we're gonna do it the left side first. Okay, so we're gonna lunge forward. Three, two, one. So we're coming right down here. Lunging forward, pressing in. Again, keeping that weight over the heel. All I'm doing, so I'm not driving my knee forward. I'm driving my trunk forward. Pulsing right into that. Woo! That bird. <laughs> Pressing right in. 15 more seconds. And then we'll go back to a push up. But this time we'll lift the left leg. Five, four, three, two, one. Down we go. Push up to the leg extension with the left side. Here we go. Three, two, one. One, down we go, and lift that leg. So when I lift the leg, I keep my foot flexed and my knee straight. So I just get a nice good glute lift in that. So I'm just getting that little bit of the strength in that glute with that. Woo. And a nice good neutral neck. I don't want that head jutting out first either. That's the other one that we like to do. A nice neutral neck. It means it's right in line with that trunk. Not up, not looking up, and not jutting forward. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, so we're gonna start back on the right side, and I will give you a cue to switch sides. Here we go, three, two, one. So we'll do half and half. Lunging forward, pulsing in. Ooh, let that leg burn. <laughs> and I want you to stay low in this position when you switch. You ready? Three, two, one. Stay low and step back in the other side. Ooh, tricky. <laughs> and then with the push-up today, we'll do alternating leg extensions when we're doing push-ups in the next round. Here we go. Ooh, five, four, three, two, one, rest. Okay, so push up with the leg extension, alternating, this is it. Then we get a rest break or a water break. Here we go, three, two, one, down we go, and we lift. And then we lift on the other side. You can do the same thing if you're on their knees, 
Just come up and make sure that leg is extended and that foot is flexed. Getting that nice good, you should feel that glute. Squeeze at the top. Keep it up, 15 more seconds. Nice work. <laughs> oh, baby. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. Okay, so for the second activity on the next superset, we're gonna be a tall kneel. We're gonna come to a low squat, and we're gonna hop right up. Now, if you don't wanna hop, you're gonna explode up under your toes so you get that quickness. The other activity we're gonna do is kind of like an airplane. We're gonna be hinged right there at the hip, counterbalance with that leg, and we're gonna squeeze with our thumbs up towards the ceiling. We're gonna squeeze our shoulder blades. Touch down and up, keeping that foot nice and flexed. Do the best you can, it's gonna challenge your balance. I know. So we're gonna keep that right foot down, left leg up. Here we go, three, two, one. So touch down and just squeeze those shoulder blades. Thumbs up towards the ceiling. You really have to use a lot of balance and stability on this. That's what I'm focused on. Now my right leg is working a lot to stabilize me. My shoulder blades are being squeezed together. So I'm really working that posterior chain in my upper back. And then I'm lifting that leg. It's coming up. I've got my foot flex. And I'm getting a nice good squeeze. So it's getting that glute. We're multitasking. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, now we're down to that tall kneel. Stay low when you come into that squat and then explode up, either with a hop or an explosion. Three, two, one. So you're staying low, up, stay low. If you want those hips to stay pretty level, the same height almost as you come up, Oh, a lot of quad strength. When you do that nice and controlled, try to alternate which foot comes first. You'll notice that you'll want to do with the same side if you don't pay attention to it. <laughs> There's a natural side for us. 10 more seconds. Either you're exploding up onto those toes or you're giving me a hop. Let's go. Four, three, two, one, rest. Okay airplane on the other side. Woo. Okay, stabilizing. Three, two, one. Coming up and squeezing. Go this way. Coming on. Nice good squeeze. Okay, keeping that back foot flexed. Squeezing that glute as you squeeze those shoulder blades. Thumbs up towards the ceiling. You're leaning forward. You want to get a nice good Airplane, if you've done yoga, you know what I'm talking about, but you're gonna be like that hinged. And the thumbs up towards the ceiling. Oh yeah, lots of balance. Balance is a little easier if you pick a spot and you stay focused on it that whole time. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, back to that tall kneel. I know, lots of challenges in that one. <laughs> there we go. Three, two, one, down low, and explode up. Stay low, get in that nice low squat, explode up, nice low squat, and come back down. Focus on coming back down to that nice low squat as you come to that tall kneel. Alternating feet now. Oh yeah. Oh, keep it up, you got this exploding. Giving me a hop, nice and controlled. 10 more seconds. And then we're gonna do 20 seconds on each side with the airplanes. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, 20 seconds on each side. I'll give you the cues to switch sides. Oh. Three, two, one, here we go. Touch down. Now I'm just barely touching down because I really wanna challenge my balance system. You may need to touch down more, because this is a challenge, I know. Use it as a really counter. I'm just hinging at that hip, okay? And I'm using that leg to come up like a counterweight. Three, two, one, other side. Here we go. 
Hinge right there, and you use that leg. As it comes up, it's your counterweight as you come forward. You remember those old tipping birds? <laughs> Three, two, one. We had those old toys, those little tipping birds, right? They had the counterbalance. That's what you're doing. Okay, last one of these. Three, two, one. Here we go. Balance is one of those things. If you don't work on it, you won't get better. It is a learned system, so you have to practice it to get it better. That's why kids are so good at it. They practice it all the time on the jungle gym or on your couch or <laughs> all over. They might get around the house, right? <laughs> 15 more seconds. 10 more seconds. Stay strong, stay strong. You got this. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Woo, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna be down on the ground the whole time on this one. We're gonna do dips. Now, let me show you all the different ways. Hardest way, feet out quite a ways away. Dipping down. Gets easier if they bring them in. Gets easier if you have your butt lower. And it even gets easier if your butt is down on the ground. Dipping right here. That's okay if that's where you are in your journey. Do not be discouraged. Just know that that's what you can do. The other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do on a side plank and we're gonna touch our toe. Now you can be up here, you can be on your knee, or you can be on your hip. Let's do the dip. So you ready? Three, two, one. Woo! So, like I said, you can make it harder, your feet out more, bring them in closer, makes it a little easier. It's all about how much body weight you're pressing in, okay? Are you taking up what percentage of your body weight to press? And that just is like a different dumbbell weight, right? So that's okay. Some of us can do five pounds, some of us can do 10, some could do 35. We're all at different parts of our journey. 10 more seconds. Then we're gonna go on that side plank. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so you can be on your hip, or you can be up on your knee, or you can be up on your feet. Okay, and then we're gonna reach for and touch that toe. Three, two, one. Touch that toe and back up. Again, we're working that balance, making those obliques keep us nice and steady. Working the hip. Working the obliques and crunching in and also getting those abdominals. Oh, baby. <laughs> nice job, keep it up. 15 more seconds. Good work. Nice and controlled. Even if you have to like modify it as you change, you say, oh, I'm not as stable. Change it up, that's okay. Three, two, one, rest. Oh, it didn't look stable at the end there either. Okay, back to those dips. Here we go. Three, two, one. Okay, up we go. Now, as we move into more and more rounds, more and more reps, just like sometimes we have to drop down weight, we might have to modify where we are on our dips, okay? So sometimes you might be like, oh, I started out, then I had to really keep my butt down low. I couldn't hold that much weight. That's okay. 15 more seconds. As long as you're pressing yourself and not making it like, yeah, it was so-so. No, no, no. It needs to be hard. <laughs> Come on, that's how we get better, right? Have to push ourselves. Four, three, two, one, rest. Worst attitude you could have. Eh, it's okay. No, push yourself. Make yourself better. Three, two, one. One, as you'll know, a lot of times I'm working just really hard over here with this also, right? Because I'm always wanting to challenge myself to be better and I'm making you come along with me on that journey, right? <laughs> I'm working today to be better than I was yesterday. That is my goal. Doing something to be a little bit better. 20 more seconds. I'm rocking 2021 with that thought process, of course. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. Okay, we have one more of our dips. We can do this, woohoo. And then what we'll do is we'll do 
half and half on each side on that one. Three, two, one. Up high or low, low. But we're dipping through those elbows and we're extending up. It's really working those triceps in this position. Up and back down, halfway there. Keep breathing, get that oxygen to those muscles. They need it, right? 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. Okay, the last time of our side plank, I will give you a cue to switch sides. You can just roll the other side. I'm gonna flip so I can stay seeing you. <laughs> three, two, one, here we go. Kicking forward and up. Nice work, nice and controlled. Three, two, one, switch sides. Here we go, finish strong. Water break after this, right? <laughs> Eight more seconds, stay strong. Five, four, three, two, one, woo, right? Okay, so the second activity, we're going to do a Superman, but we're gonna do it a little bit differently. So we're gonna lift up. Now, you don't have to get your legs if you can't do that. You're gonna lift up and you're gonna rotate and you're gonna look all the way down to your leg and back up. We're gonna just do one side at a time. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do with that. The first exercise we're gonna do, is we're gonna come down, we're gonna squat two times, and then we're gonna go right to the side and crunch. Two pulses on the other side and crunch. Okay, so when you're squatting, remember, you drive your heels, your knees, and your hips back first so that you really sit over those heels. Here we go, three, two, one. So down, two pulses, crunch to the side. Two pulses, crunch to the other side. Now if you have to come up, and down, and then two pulses, and down, that's okay. So two pulses, and a crunch. You wanna to try to get that elbow to that knee. Now, I know not all of you can do that. That's not, that's a lot of range of motion, it's a lot of strength. So you may be up here, and you're just crunching. And you're giving me two pulses, and you're crunching. I love it, you're still giving that knee that good rotation. You're working right within your pattern. That's what I want, as long as you're pushing yourself to your best ability, you're doing it. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, down on that stomach, and we're just going to look, we're gonna lift and just do our left arm down and back up. Three, two, one. So lift, pull down to that left, and come back up. Now, you can come down and lift again, and squeeze, or you can maintain that position, come back up, and squeeze. I want that rotation, so I want you pulling down, pull down with your arm like you're pushing through the water, and I want you to watch your hand. Pull down and watch it. Oh yeah. Look at that rotation. Extension and rotation. Woo, baby. If you can, lift those legs. Make it even more of a challenge. Four, three, two, one, rest. Okay, back to those squat pulses with a side crunch. Three, two, one. Squat pulse and a crunch. Two squat pulses and a crunch. Sitting back on those heels. You should feel your glute and your hamstrings really kicking in when you do those pulses. Feel that glute fire up. That means you're sitting back correctly. Oh baby. <laughs> it should be awoke and it's saying, oh yeah, I'm working. <laughs> Come on, and your quads should be firing. Okay, they're working too, don't worry, I know. Don't burn. 10 more seconds. And then of course we're getting those obliques in there as we crunch down. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. Okay, Superman on the other side now. We're going to lift, we're gonna push that water down as we look down to our leg. Three, two, one. Lift up and pull down. It's a challenging position because that extension is hard. We don't strengthen that very much. It's 
is really important for posturing and stability. Pull down and look. You got this, come on, 15 more seconds. Oh, baby. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. Okay, up we go. Last one of these squat pulses and the crutches. Three, two, one. Squat down, two pulses, and a side crutch. Now I have my hands behind my neck, but I'm just barely touching them because I don't want to be pushing on my neck. But there was there just so I can kind of visually get my elbow to my knee. Two pulses, hit into that knee. Halfway there. Nice work. Hang in there. You're doing awesome, Sauce. <laughs> oh, there's Bird at five, four, three, two, one. Yes. Okay, last one of the Superman. We're going to alternate each direction. Go to the left, go down with the last, then come back up and lift to the right. Three, two, one. Push down, come back up. Go the other direction. Follow that hand as you pull that water down. You're swimming. <laughs> Come on. Hang in there. Halfway there. Oh, baby. This is challenging. Like I said, we don't do that extension. It's a lot harder. A lot of flexion movements. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. Okay, so for the second activity, we're going to be in that bare position. That means quadruped with your, your knees just slightly over. And we're going to kick through as our workout. So we're going to come and we're going to go to that side plank, kind of modified, and kick through. The other activity we're going to do is we're going to laterally lunge. We're going to push off and do a nice little kick. So you may have to come here and kick for balance purposes, and that's okay. Ooh, I need to grab a drink. Okay, same side, whole time. Here we go, three, two, one. So you're coming down, you're sitting down, and you're lifting. When you're sitting down, you're sitting over that heel, coming up and lifting. Okay, so it's almost, you're going to squeeze that butt out so you have a nice good right on that heel that weights over that heel, not over your toe, and then a nice good lift. Down, keep that foot flexed and that knee straight as you lift. Really working that outside of that leg, down and out. Again, you may have to come back here and lift for balances. That's okay. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, now we're gonna do the quad. I'm gonna do this direction so I do that same leg. Kick through, okay? Three, two, one. Up in that quad, in that bear, and we're kicking through and rotating. Okay, so we're really working a lot of stability as we kick through in that dynamic movement. Coming back in that quad, or that bear position, and then kicking through. A lot of oblique work, a lot of shoulder work, and a lot of fun feeling like we're breakdancing, right? <laughs> this is as close as I'm going to get. Ten more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. Okay, up and we're going lateral lunges to the other side. Woo! Three, two, one. One, so we're sitting down and up and left. So when you do that kick, you're just right there at the hip. Coming down, just a nice good leg lift. Pushing off, working that leg, so push off, and then we get a nice good lift. 15 more seconds. We'll do half and half on the next sound. Five, 
four, three, two, one, rest. Okay, back in that bear position as we break dance, right? <laughs> yes, I'm at 80 style. Three, two, one. Here we go. Kick through and back down. Keep going. You got this. 30 more seconds. Kicking through and lifting up. Oh, baby. We're rocking it. Come on. 10 more seconds. Nice and controlled. Nice kick, kick through. This is control. Three, two, one, rush. Okay, so we're doing the lunging with the lift. Half and half, I'll give you that cue. Three, two, one. So step down and lift. Controlled, Stay strong. We'll have one more super set after this. Oh, baby, time flies when we're having fun, right? Yes, I do find this fun. Also fun. Here we go. Three, two, one. Down and lift. Now with the bare one, we'll do is we'll alternate each side as we're doing it. Down and lift. Way to rock that. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, so we're gonna be down in that bear. We're gonna kick through each side. One side and then rotate the other. Three, two, one. So kick through, come back, kick through the other side. Rotating back and forth, getting that nice good bear position, and then kick through. Then back to the bear, and then kick through the other side. Keep going, you got this. Come on, 15 more seconds. Easy control. We're going to be down on our mat for the last super set. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. Okay, so we're going to be in a plank position. No, no we're not going to have our butt up. We're going to have a nice plank position. We're going to shoulder tap. Then we're going to go with our butt up to our pike. And we're gonna touch each knee. Then we're gonna go down to the plank and tap. That's the first one. Whew. The other one we're gonna do is we're gonna do plank to side, to back, to crab, to side, to plank. So it's gonna be just a lot of stability rotation. We're gonna start with those pike taps, plank taps. Here we go, three, two, one. Okay, so we're in a plank. Shoulder tap, shoulder tap. Moving the pike and tap each knee. Then come back to plank, tap each shoulder. Moving the pike and tap each knee. Working our core to stabilize us in those different positions. Now as we add some dynamic movement, our goal is to keep those front of those hip bones, okay? Front of the, actually it's your your shield two brassies. I mean your huh. yes. M your <laughs> pelvis looking forward. Three, two, one, rest. I cannot ever come up with anatomy while I'm trying to also count how many we're doing. <laughs> but you want those hip bones always facing down. Okay, so here we go. Pike, I mean plank, into side plank, into the crab, into the side plank, and into the plank. Same rotation side. We'll do the other direction next round. A lot of shoulder work, a lot of control. Do the best you can. You may have to come down a little bit with your knee, okay, and control that, okay, as you rotate through. Like I said, it takes a lot of control to rotate through those positions. Four, three, two, one. Okay, so your pelvis bones, right here, those pointy ones, you want them facing the ground that whole time in that plank and pike position. Here we go. Three, two, one. Shoulder taps and the knee taps. Keep 
I was throwing out all sorts of names. I'm sorry about that. I was trying to count, trying to talk to you about what I was doing. I was not clear on all of that. Sometimes that happens when I'm trying to multitask too many things. <laughs> I promise you, I did pass anatomy class more than once too. <laughs> Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. Okay, so now we're going to do the other direction. In this. So we're going to rotate to the other side plank. You ready? Three, two, one. So plank to side plank, back to crab, back to side plank, back to plank. Try to pause in those positions, get yourself stable, and then rotate through. Nice and controlled. Halfway there. Finish strong for me, come on. Nice and stable, 10 more seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, let's finish with these nice, good plank and pikes. Facing forward, keep that nice and controlled. Three, two, one. Shoulder tap, knee tap. Down the shoulder tap, and then the knee tap. Work on your shoulders a lot in this superset. But the good news is we're almost done to the cool down. Woohoo! <laughs> Our favorite part, or at least it's mine. <laughs> we love the stretch. And the feeling of accomplishment that I've done. <laughs> 15 more seconds. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. Okay, so we're going to really be tricky. We're going to go all the way around. Oh, yeah. Okay, so let's try this. Here we go. Three, two, one. Plank to side plank to crab to the other side plank all the way around. And then the plank to side plank. Oh, we're doing a big circle, right? Nice work. Okay, now we're gonna go the other direction. Say what? <laughs> so if you're going clockwise, you're going counterclockwise now. Keep that nice and controlled. Woo! Don't get yourself dizzy though, right? Five, four, three, two, one, rest. Come right down into that nice good child's pose. That was kind of fun though, right? <laughs> and dip that down, those hips down, and look right on up. And then come right into downward dog. Press those heels down. Try to get those down and get that calf stretched out. Pull into downward dog. And what I want you to do is I want you to lift that leg up towards the ceiling, that left leg. Oh, I mean the right leg. Lift that up. Now drive that right through your hands. You're going to be in that nice good lunge position. Hold that for a second. Now drop that knee down, lift on up, open that chest, and lean just to the side. So we're opening up that chest and we're getting those obliques just a little bit as we drive that hip forward to get that hip flexor. And then we're gonna grab that foot, pull it back if you need the towel to help with that range of motion. I'm gonna get that quad all stretched out from those lunges and squats. And then we're gonna straighten that knee out and get that hamstring, okay? so. Hinge as much as you can from that hip. Straighten that knee out, get that hamstring in there. Nice work, and then come back down into downward dog. Pressing down. This time, lifting that left foot up. And then pressing that through to your, between your leg and your hands. Nice, good low lunge. And then drop that knee down. Lift up on towards the ceiling. And lean in, lean over that leg, get those obliques a little bit, drive that hip forward so you get that nice good hip flexion. Stretch, and then you're gonna grab that foot, Ooh, stretch out that quad. Nice work, and then straighten out that front knee and get that hamstring in there. Nice work, and then sit on down. Cross that foot right over that knee. 
Get that glute stretched out. And then drop that down. And let's do the other side. Just walk that up till you get a nice good glute stretch as you stretch that out. And then you're gonna come sit up, you're gonna do a butterfly. Pull that forward, pull your chest up. Come on forward, get that inner thigh. Let's finish here. Three, two, one. Thank you for joining me. If any of those stretches are a little bit tighter, go back to them. That's your body saying, oh, I need a little bit more. Or come back later today. Make sure you get nice and stretched out. It'll help you with your recovery too. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel below. And if you want to be part of my Facebook group, that link is below too. I'd love to have you. And have a great day.